time to celebrate the great news that we just heard this morning and last week from uh, Pfizer and from Moderna. I think that the success of for a new technology such as the messenger RNA that's been used in these two vaccines is a great news to everybody and it really shows the light uh, at the end of the tunnel that there is a hope that we will have a vaccine that will prevent the uh, infection with the, uh, uh, the uh, COVID-19 uh, disease and maybe would be a, the start to going back to normality at some point of time next year. One of the aspects uh, most talked about this new Moderna vaccine is how much easier it is to store uh, without requiring the ultra cold storage of the Pfizer variant. Do you think this will be the game changer? Uh, no, I think that uh, uh, still we need a freezing uh, temperature. We need the minus 20 degrees for the Moderna vaccine and the minus 70 for Pfizer. I think the good news from Moderna this morning was related to the possibility that after you throw the vaccine or the ample for the of the vaccine at the doctor's office, you have 30 days to use that ample. That's great because there will be no waste and the doctor's office would have enough time to use every ample that they throw to the, to the utmost. Therefore, this is the great news about the stability for one month at four degrees. Uh, with regards to Pfizer, we still have an issue with the uh, thawing. That's only uh, the, the, the known uh, stability is only for five days. I am sure that uh, Pfizer will come back with some extending that period at four degrees after thawing. But in the meantime, Moderna has this uh, edge over the uh, uh, Pfizer vaccine. Right. Now, so there's always this overarching issue of safety. I mean, how confident can the public be that these vaccines that have, we should add, been rushed through at really unprecedented staggering speeds won't ultimately be more harmful than the coronavirus itself? Can pe should people be worried? Well, uh, in the beginning, there was some doubts about the safety. Uh, it's a new technology. It's, uh, there was also issues with regards to whether there is enhancement of disease by the antibody that you generate with your vaccine. The data that uh, the details that we uh, heard today from Moderna is showing that uh, uh, we probably are very surprised and uh, very pleased that the safety data looks great. There is only uh, 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 side effects, which is only short uh, for uh, a couple of days after the second immunization. It's mild. It's not really a major adverse event. And therefore, that gives you a feeling that there is no issues to the uh, short-term uh, uh, safety for the injection. If you look at the two months, there was no other uh, side effects that happened two months after the second immunization, meaning in the, in the presence of antibodies, presence of immunity. The third thing is that there was, uh, uh, and it was really uh, reported today, that they had 11 severe cases of COVID-19, but all these 11 cases were actually happened in the, uh, in the control group, not in the vaccine group. That actually, relieve us from the issue of disease enhancement by the immunity. Of course, there are other open uh, issues that still long term, you know, how, how long this, uh, this immunity is going to persist. How can we boost that, that uh, immunity? Is there a good memory? Can, when we need to boost it, because uh, the COVID-19 is not seasonal like the flu. It's, across, it's throughout the year, so therefore you want to know when the immunity is fading so that you can boost it. So there's a lot of open questions, but that should not really uh, take away from the, the, the great data and the great uh, achievements uh, that we have uh, seen uh, in the last couple of weeks in these two vaccines, and that gives us a major, uh, a big hope for the future. Open questions, but big